我们今天要来看希伯来书。So today we are continuing in the book of Hebrews. 希伯来书对我的第一个印象是什么呢 ？Well, what was my first impression of the book of Hebrews? 我还在爱华念书的时候，在一个查经班聚会。When I was a student at Iowa, I attended a Bible study. 我那个时候圣经都还不熟，根本不知道希伯来书是什么。At the time, I had I was completely it,、uh, the Bible was completely foreign to me, so I had no idea what the Hebrews was about. 但是我们的查经班非常的活跃。But our Bible study was very active. 我们常常除了我们自己查经以外，我们还常常组成福音队到各州去探访。Um, besides our own Bible study, we often made teams to visit other people all over several states. 有一次，我们的福音队就到了我们的附近一个州。到一个华人教会去探访。And so one one time we went to a neighboring state、uh, to visit a Chinese church there. 那个华人教会是相当大的一个教会。And it was a rather large church. 啊，那牧师年纪也不小了。And the um and the pastor was quite old. 啊，我们去探访他的那天晚上，他刚好这位老牧师呢带查经。And on the night we visited him, this this ancient pastor led. From the book of Hebrews. He, he, he preached from the book of Hebrews. And so he, he preached from the book of Hebrews. But his voice was very thick. But he had a very thick accent. Ah, he made the book of Hebrews sound like Hebrews. And so I could barely understand what he was saying. So I, from the beginning to the end, I was laughing at the two people who were laughing at him. And so I spent the entire night laughing at his accent. So he never said a word. He would talk about Hebrew and we would start laughing. And so and every time he brought up the book of Hebrews, we would laugh. So from the beginning to the end, what did we read? I don't remember. And so I have no memory of what we went through that night. I just remember he said that there was a very difficult book in the Bible called Hebrews. And so all I remember from his preaching was that the book of Hebrews is one of the more difficult books of the. Bible. 我不知道我们当中今天有多少第一次要听希伯来书的。And so I don't know how many of you are here experiencing the book of Hebrews for the first time. 希伯来书是一本很难查的书啊。It's this is indeed a very difficult book to study. 如果今天是你第一次读希伯来书 ，If this is your first time going through it， 我希望加下听下下来三三十分钟听下来以后，你不要像我当年一样啊。And I hope that you don't spend the next thirty minutes like me. 好，所以我们要来看今天这一本很难的书。Uh, so today we will go through this difficult book. 希伯来书。The book of Hebrews. 好，这是我们刚刚读的经文。And so this is the passage that we just went through. 希伯来书为什么难呢 ？Why is it hard? 因为它必须要引用许多的旧约。Because it quotes a lot from the Old Testament. 所以要了解希伯来书呢，就必须要了解很多旧约的背景。And so, in order to understand this book, you have to understand a lot of the Old Testament. 好，所以我们今天先来看旧约引用的部分。So let's look at what what parts of the Old Testament it quotes from. 好，刚刚我们读经文，他说有人在经上某处证明说。And so it it said earlier, but there is a place where someone has testified. 啊，这个有人呢，就是大卫。And so this someone is King David. 呃，在经上某处呢，这某处就是诗篇的第八篇第三到八节。And you know, somewhere, you know, there is a place, and that is Psalm, the book of Psalms, chapter eight. 好，如果我们看这两段经文的对照。So if we compare the two, the the two areas here. 呃，刚才我们读的是希伯来书第二章六到八节。呃 ，We just read Hebrews chapter two, verse six through eight. 那对照的是里面有。三节的经文是完全是从诗篇第八篇四到八节引出来的。And so three of those、uh, passages were quoted directly from Psalm eight,、uh, chapter、uh, verses four through eight. 好，既然是引用的话呢，一定有相当大的一部分呢是重复的。And since it is a quotation, then much of it will be similar. 它就是重复的强调一些事情。And that it is a it is a rep repetition that is emphasizing particular parts of the Bible. 但是当我们在读的时候，我们要注意，它既然是新旧约，它中间将近隔了一千年的历史。And so we know that because the New Testament quotes from the Old, there is a thousand at least a thousand year difference between the two. 旧约的诗篇是大卫写的，大卫是大约一千 B.C. 的人物。
And so uh, David wrote most of the Psalms, and David was a man who lived somewhere about a thousand years before Christ. So we assume the Book of Hebrews is the first century. Then, the middle is about one thousand years. And so, you know, the Book of Hebrews was written sometime in the first century thereabouts, and so there was probably at least a thousand years difference between these two eras. So, although the New Testament quotes the Old Testament, there are many repetitions. And so, while while when the New When the New Testament quotes from the Old Testament, there are many similar passages. 可是经过了一千年圣灵的工作 ，But because the Holy Spirit has worked in the hearts of the Israelites for a thousand years. 有许多旧约里面没有隐含的那些隐含的信息，在新约的里面就会被阐释出来。And so, some of the things that were perhaps hidden in the original in, in the original text. Were sh- were made more clear when it was quoted again. So, we today come to read the Book of Hebrews. We first pay attention to the Old and Old Testament repetition, and then we have to look at the Old and Old Testament repetition. And so, as we read from the Book of Hebrews, we see how the Book of Hebrews quotes from the Old Testament and adds new interpretation on top of it. 好，我们先来看重复强调的部分。So let's look at the parts where it repeats itself. 两段的经文都在重复一个感叹。And so, two of the, both of these, will say, you know, how, why, uh, how God. Um, it's a, it's a, it's expressing an amazement. 这种感叹有双重性，一个是讲到为什么神要顾念人，第二个是他如何来顾念呢 ？And so this this double amazement is why does God care so much about man? And second, how does God take? 所以大卫他就在问说，为什么人这么小，神还要来顾念他呢 ？And so first, how how man is so insignificant? And yet, God cares for him. In the Psalm, David used the stars of heaven to look at the greatness of the universe and to think about this question. And so, um, because David was looking at the rest of the universe, looking at the stars, and considering how small man is compared to them. When we look at 这个浩瀚的宇宙的时候，这么多的宇宙星辰，我们自然就会知道人的渺小。Because when we consider the size of the universe compared to ourselves, we truly appreciate how insignificant we are. 我不知道你们有没有去一个深山里面看过浩瀚的天空。I don't know if you've ever gone stargazing, especially in very remote areas. 我去年暑假的时候回了一趟台湾。Um, last year, I, I was able to go back to Taiwan for summer, my summer vacation. Ah, 我跟丽竹有一段很好，在那边很好遇到很多朋友，很愉快的一个暑假。And so we spent a very fun vacation there. We met up with a lot of old friends. 我大姐跟我姐夫呢，也几乎的同时呢，在那个时间暑期也回台湾。And my、uh, sister and my brother-in-law also came, went back to Taiwan at that, about the same time. So, when we came to Orlando, we talked about what you were doing in Taiwan. What were you doing in Taiwan? And so, on our way back, we discussed, you know, what, what, what kind of places we visited. So, when we talked about what you were doing in Taiwan, what were you doing in Taiwan? So, when we talked about what you were doing in Taiwan, what were you doing in Taiwan? So, when we talked about what you were doing in Taiwan, what were you doing in Taiwan? So, when we talked about what you were doing in Taiwan, what were you doing in Taiwan? So, when we talked about what you were doing in Taiwan, what were you doing in Taiwan? So, when we talked about Uh, because they went mountain climbing and they went to a, a resort high in the mountains. And you know, in summer, when you go to the mountains, you will meet with the festival of the summer. You run into the, the festival of、um, goodness gracious. What is that? What is this in English?、Um, it's, it's it's a festival. Yeah, it's a star festival. It's, it's the Chinese equivalent of Valentine's Day. Yeah, good, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese Valentine. Yeah, it's a good good translation. Ah, 在那里呢，导游就会让大家看天上的星。And so at that time of year, the guide would ex would would would、uh, lead the tour group into stargazing. 然后导游呢就会介绍天上的星星。And the tour guide would introduce the stars of the sky. That tour guide would say, "You see, you can see very clearly. This is the Sea of Galilee." 
And yep. so this this great mass of stars you see above you that is like a river is the, the Milky Way. 然后在这个银河的两边有两颗很亮的星，就是我们传说中很著名的牛郎星跟织女星。And then the two bright stars on either side of the Milky Way are Altair and Vega. These are very famous stars in the Chinese mythology. 然后导游就会继续介绍说，牛郎星啊，有太阳两倍那么大，它的亮度是八倍啊。And so the the star Altair is twice as big as the sun and eight times as bright. That 织女星就更大了 And the Vega is even brighter. 织女星是比太阳十倍那么大 And it is ten times the size of the sun. 它的亮度是太阳的五十倍 And it is fifty times as bright. 那这两颗星你看起来很近啊 And these, though these two stars look very close from the uh, naked eye, 但是事实上呢，相距十六个光年 And they are, they're actually 16 light years apart. 然后导游就会继续介绍说，光年是什么呢 ？So what is a what is a light year? 因为去参加旅游的有些是他们不太知道这些东西的。Because you know a lot of you don't know how you know how how well educated any particular person in the. 所以导游就要介绍给他们光年的概念。And so what is a light year? 呃，光年就是光的速度，它光跑得很快，它跑的速度来跑的距离。The the light year is the distance the uh. Uh, a per- light can travel within a year. He says, "Light can go very fast." 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 Light can go very fast. He says, "Light can go very fast." 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 So what, what? How far away are these two stars? He says this light, ah, we today can see the light, is because the light from where it emits the light goes to my eye. When it hits my eye, it is called seeing. And because the way we see things is, you know, the way we see things is, you know, the light has to go, has to travel from where it originated to where I can perceive it. But the light is very fast, so we can see things in our eyes in the same distance. Now, because light is so fast uh, in our everyday lives, when we see something, there it is. But if the distance is very far, then there is a time delay. But the more far away something is, the more the more there is a time delay in 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 when we see it and when where it actually is. For example, the sun and the earth is very far in the distance. For example, the sun and the earth is very far in the distance. Oh, the sun's light to reach the earth needs about eight minutes. It takes about eight and a half minutes for the light of the sun to reach the earth. That these two stars, the sun and the earth, will take about eight and a half minutes for the light of the sun to reach the earth. That these two stars, the sun and the earth, will take about eight and a half minutes for the light of the sun to reach the earth. That these two stars, the sun and the earth, will take about eight and a half minutes for the light of the sun to reach the earth. That these two stars, the sun and the earth, will take about eight and a half minutes for the light of the sun to reach the earth. That these two stars, the sun and the earth, will take about eight and a half minutes for the light of the sun to reach the earth. That these two stars, the sun and the earth, will take about eight and a half minutes for the light of the sun to reach the earth. That these two stars, the sun and the earth, will take about eight and a half minutes for the light of the sun to reach the earth. That these two stars, the And so, you know, should should one star try to send any sort of signal, it'll take 16 years for the other star to see it. 然然后导游就会讲说，牛郎跟织女他们是一对情人。And so, you know, as the story goes, uh, Altair and Vega were a pair of lovers. 但是被这银河挡住了，所以他们没有办法见面。所以假设说他们有一个很好的天文望远镜，常常互相在对看。And so, you know, they are separated by this Milky Way. And so, if they had a telescope that could see one another, uh, 没有办法相见，也听不见，那就就是看一看吧。And so, because they they can't send messages to one another, they can't call, and so they can only look. 所以，所以有一天，牛郎就用那个最好的望远镜来看织女。And so, uh, one day, Altair got the best uh telescope, and he he peered into the sky at Vega. 呃，他一看，他一看的时候，他看到织女说，哎呀，他真高兴啊。And so when he looked, he was very happy. Because he sees that uh, Vega also has a telescope who's looking back at him. Ah, that's good. I also see her. She also sees me. And so I can see her, and she can see me. Ah, so the sailor saw the sailor looking back at him. And so I can see her, and she can see me. Ah, so the sailor saw the sailor looking back at him. And so I can see her, and she can see me. Ah, so the sailor saw the sailor looking back at him. And so I can see her, and she can see me. And so he was waving, and she she had no reaction. I 再继续看一看 And I take a look, another look. 哎，织女还是一直在看我啊 And she's still looking for me. 那我再打一次招呼 So I'll wave at her again. 怎么还是没有反应啊 Why is there no reaction? 气死了 So it, it he got very angry. 就把这望远镜哇摔掉 And so he he would he broke the telescope. 啊，十六年以后 Sixteen years later. 织女看到了 So Vega finally saw it. 哎。
你为什么在跟我打招呼哎 ？My husband's waving at me. 哎，那我跟他打招呼啊。I'll wave back at him. 哎，怎么搞的？这个牛郎好像没有看见我回，还拼命在那边回。And it doesn't seem like he's he's reacted to me at all. 哎，再看一看。And then looking again. 哎，怎怎么搞得好像很很不高兴的样子 ？And he looks very mad. 哎呀，他怎么把他望远镜给砸了呢 ？So why did he break his telescope? 啊，十六年对方才能看到。Because they they're separated by sixteen years. 如果牛郎要看到织女的回信，要另外再十六年。And it'll take another sixteen years to get us to send a message back. 所以一个招呼打出去要得到回应，总共要。三十二年的时间。So it takes thirty-two years for them to make a phone call to make to send messages to one another. 所以导游这样一讲，大家都明白了。And so, the, you know, once the the guide explained it this way, everybody got it. 哇，真是很远很远。That's what. That's such a great astronaut. That is indeed an astronomical distance. 这只是两颗星而已、啊。And those are only two stars. 这每两每颗星都比太阳大。Every, every pretty much every star in the universe is bigger than the sun. 那我们的地球算什么？ So what is our Earth in comparison? You 看那个银河里面有多少星啊 ？Look at how many stars there are in the Milky Way. 那在科学上叫天文数字，没有办法数的。And so this that that is what is called an astronomical unit because it is completely inconceivable for a human being. 我们看到这个图，这只是宇宙里面很小的一部分啊。And this picture that we see up here, it's a very very small slice of the universe. 大卫看到神所造的宇宙星辰，就说：“人算什么呀？” And so when David saw these sights, his reaction was, "What is man?" You 看一看我们所眼见的这些宇宙星辰。Look at the stars that we can just we can perceive with our naked eye alone. 神为什么要顾念我们呢 ？Why does God care about us? 我们真是没有办法知道。We we we it's it's a mystery to us. 那他要如何来顾念我们呢？ And how will he care for us? When we talk about how to care, there are two aspects. And so we we have, and then there's two sub questions in there. Ah, one is that God wants to do something to care for us. What is God's plan for us in in His caring? And then how can we care for Him? And then what sort of things will He do to accomplish His His plan? And then how can we care for Him? And then what sort of things will He do to accomplish His plan? And then how can we care for Him? And then what sort of things will He do to accomplish His plan? And then how can we care for Him? And then what sort of things will He do to accomplish His plan? And then how can we care for Him? And then what sort of things will He do to accomplish His plan? And then how can we care for Him? And then what sort of things will He do to accomplish His plan? And then how can we care for Him? And then what sort of 他神如何顾念渺小的人呢？原来神要在这么渺小的人身上成就极大极大的荣耀。Um, how will God care care for man? He will use this very humble, small being to accomplish great things and to reflect God's glory. 在这里，大卫说：“他说，神是叫把人呢，只做造成比天使小一点，要掌管这些神所造的万物。” For God created man only a little slower than the angels, and gives him authority over all creation. 那这是基本是在引用创世纪第一章二十八节。And and so um he here David is thinking back to Genesis where um in you know, chapter one verse twenty eight. 啊，在那里神在起初创造人的时候就赋予人这样子管理，啊，地面、海中，还有空中、鸟鱼这一切的。Because you know, back then God gave man the authority to rule over all of the animals of the of the land, the fish of the sea, and the birds of the air. So David in this here, the two astonishing thoughts. The first one is that man is so small, God why does God remember? The second is that so small man does not remember, and he is so small to glory over the very small people. And so here, David is expressing amazement. Not only that, despite man's insignificance, God not only Cares for him, but he gives him such great glory. 看着这浩瀚的星空，人真的是微小到没有办法微不足道的一个一个生物。Because compared to the size of the universe, man is indeed very small. 但在这里，他说神说只把人定位在比天使小一点。And yet, man is given a position that is only a little lower than his angels. 这是怎么比的呢 ？What kind of comparison is this? 天使是天上的灵体啊 ，because the angels are the mess, the spirit beings of heaven. 天使是大有能力的 ，they are great beings of great power. 人这么渺小 ，man is so small. 非常的软弱的 ，very weak. 那在这里说，神即使是这样的，还把人定位在只比只只比天使小一点点。
And yet we are only a little lower than the angels in terms of authority. 而且还把神所创造的这些地上、空中和海中的生物都交给人管理。And he gives he gives man authority over all the beings on the earth. 这里是讲到神如何顾念，提到神到底要怎么做的问题。And so this is talking about you know what God is hoping to accomplish. 那神要如何才能够？达成这样子的计划呢 ？And so, how is God going to accomplish this plan? 好，讲到神要怎么样子做。刚刚我们说神要荣耀，神要荣耀这样微小的人，但是他怎么样子荣耀呢 ？And so, God is, uh, God, God's will is indeed to glorify this insignificant man. How is he supposed to accomplish this? 好，在这里啊，旧旧约的诗篇。的作者就是大卫，他保持缄默，因为他实在不知道。And so here in in um in Psalms, it's a rhetorical question because David doesn't know the answer. 所以你可以看到，说在在旧约里面有很多的信息呢，都是隐藏的。And so so in in the Old Testament, many times the message is hidden. 所以在信信心的这个功课里面，在旧约很多伟人在他们身上有相当好的榜榜样。And so the Old Testament, um, these Old Testament great. Uh, they have established a very good example for those of us in the present day. 对对，大卫王王来讲，神是直接跟他对话的。Because、uh, David had spoken directly to God. 他是很特别的一个君王。He was a very special king. 啊、uh, ，其他很多君王，神不直接对话，都透过先知的。In many other cases, God spoke through the prophets to these kings. 但是大卫王是在大部分时候是直接跟神对话的。But many times. Uh, David spoke directly to God. 神亲口跟大卫说：“你，我要让你坐在你的后裔要坐在宝座上，直到永远。” That your descendants will sit on the throne forever. 所以大卫他是很清楚知道神要做什么的。And so David was very clear about what God's plans were for him. 但是他没有办法明白神要如何达成那样子的计划。But he had no idea how God was going to pull any of this off. 但是他很清楚知道神要做什么。But he knew what God was going to do. 那是神给大卫王的应许。Because that was a promise that God gave to David. 他不知道这个过程是什么。He did not know the process. 所以他完全用一个坚固的信心来仰望。And so all he could do was wait in faith. 旧约诗篇作者所看的世界，基本上是讲到人的世界。Because the world that the Old Testament sees is the world, this, This world that that is that uh the world of man. 你看大卫刚刚引用的，基本上是从创世纪出来的。Because and so you know they can only look back as far back as Genesis. 所以他在诗篇里面讲到是说人很微小，但是神要把神所造的这个这个地球，还有海水这些跟地球的生物有关的，交在人手中。Because and so that's why the psalmist says. That though man is insignificant, God gave him control of this earth and all the things in it. 接下来我们要看的是新约希伯来书。And so, now we go into Hebrews. 好，希伯来书里面他所看的世界，在第二章第五节他就说，我们所说将来的世界。And the book of Hebrews then looks forward into the future. 所以在希伯来书新约作者的时候，他虽然是引用旧约的经文，但是他的眼光是超过旧约的。And so when the New,、um, New Testament authors quote from the Old Testament, they're looking from an even broader expanse. 在新约的作者，新约希伯来书作者，他在讲这一段引用旧约经文的时候，他看到的世界不仅是现今的世界，而是从现今一直到将来的世界。Because when he, when the, the writer of the New, of Hebrews looks at the world, he not only looks at the present state of the world, but the future as well. 他这里说，将来那个世界呢，不是交给天天使管辖的。And he, he assures us that the world of the future is not ruled by the angels. 好，我们还是一样用。同样的问题，我们来看这一段新约的经文。And so we ask the same question that we asked in the of the Psalms into the book of Hebrews. 但请记得说，他们中间差了一千年，然后看事情的眼光有所不同。And don't forget that the, you know their their points of view differ not just by a thousand years, but by by scope as well. 好，我们它的结构是一样的。希伯来书作者同样发出双重的惊叹。And so the book of Hebrews. Makes this the same,、um, uh, expresses the same amazement. 一样的，就是说，神为什么要顾念渺小的人？神如何来顾念呢 
Why does God care so much about man, and how will God care for him? 然后讲到如何的部分呢？他要谈神到底做什么，还有他如何做。And so, what does he want to do, and what will he do to accomplish it? 好，我们先来看神为何要顾念人这个部分。And so, why does God care so much about man? 在这里，希伯来书作者是同样的感叹。And so this here, the book of Hebrews makes the same expression. He says, 看到这宇宙星辰的时候，人实在太渺小了。我们实在没有办法明白神为什么要顾念我们这么微小的人。That looking at all of creation, how small man is. 在这里，新约作者跟旧约作者的感叹是一样的。And so this is, expresses the same sort of amazement. 但是我们可以想一想，这中间差了一千年，对不对 ？But there is a thousand year difference here. 一一千年，就算人类的历史来看的话，对宇宙的认识也有所不同了。And in this thousand years, the understanding of the universe is different. 我相信希伯来书的作者在他那个一千年后所看到的宇宙，跟大卫所看能够看到的宇宙是不一样的。And because the the uh the universe that the the writer of Hebrews could see is, I would I believe, is very different from the universe that David saw. Because you know the the uh technology was always improving. We are thinking that today we are in the Book of Hebrews after two thousand years. And we're to we're another two thousand years removed from the Book of Hebrews. We are today's understanding of the universe is even deeper than that of the Book of Hebrews. And our understanding of the universe is even deeper than that of Hebrews. We today have this in the Hubble Space Telescope. We 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 have this in the Hubble Space Telescope. 同样的惊叹，但是我们了解，在人类的对历史的对这个宇宙的认识，事实上是有所不同的。And so, um, so we are, though we are expressing the same amazement, our understanding of the universe is a little bit different. 当人的科技越加进步的时候，我们对宇宙的认识就更深。As man's technology improves, our understanding of the universe is even deeper. So, when we look at this book today, we will find the same amazement. And so, as we read this book today, we will find the same amazement. And so, as we read this book today, we will find the same amazement. And so, as we read this book today, we will find the same amazement. And so, as we read this book today, we will find the same amazement. And so, as we read this book today, we will find the same amazement. And so, as we read this book today, we will find the same amazement. And so, as we read this book today, we will find the same amazement. And so, as The Hebrews and perhaps even David. Because we truly, we know all the more what it really means. Because we truly, we know all the more what it really means to be insignificant. Because we truly, we know all the more what it really means to be insignificant. Because we truly, we know all the more what it really means to be insignificant. Because we truly, we know all the more what it really means to be insignificant. Because we truly, we know all the more what it really means to be insignificant. Because we truly, we know all the more what it really means to be insignificant. Because we truly, we know all the more what it really means to be insignificant. Because we truly, we know all the more what it really means to be insignificant. Because we truly, we know all the more what it really means to be insignificant. Because we truly, we know all the more what it really means to be insignificant. Because we truly, we know all the more what it really means to be insignificant. Because we truly, we know all the more what it really means to be insignificant. Because we truly, we know all the more what it really means to be insignificant. Because we truly, we know all the more what it really means to be insignificant. Because we truly, we know all the more what it really means to be insignificant. Because we That first, um, you first it is, uh, you see David is quoting from the book of Genesis. 那你提到说，神要荣耀人，是把地面上还有海水空中的活物交给人来掌管。That uh, God is going to put all of creation, the the fish, the, the birds of the the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea. 但是在希伯来书这边作者，你看他有进一步的引申了。But when the book of Hebrews quotes from Psalms, it it expands the meaning of the verse. Because he in the first verse, he just said that we are looking not just at the present, but also the future. So in the present, he quotes from Psalms. But when he looks at the future, he quotes from Psalms. But when he looks at the future, he quotes from Psalms. But when he looks at the future, he quotes from Psalms. But when he looks at the future, he quotes from Psalms. But when he looks at the future, he quotes from Psalms. But when he looks at the future, he quotes from Psalms. But when he looks at the future, he quotes from Psalms. But when he looks at the future, he quotes from Psalms. But when he looks at the future, he quotes from Psalms. But when he looks at the future, he quotes from Psalms. But when he looks at the future, he quotes from Psalms. Everything in the universe. 而且还说不是只小一点，而是暂时小一点。And not only is he a little, a little lower than the angels, this is a temporary state. 因为在新约里面就讲出来，天使不过是服役的灵。Because as the New Testament points out elsewhere, uh, angels are nothing but ministering spirits. 所以将来人的地位是要超过天使的。So one day in the future, man's place will be higher than that of the angels. 所以在这里，我们就看到新约作者在神到底要做什么事上，已经有一个新的认识。
And so the the writer of the of the book of Hebrews has a new understanding of what God is wants to do. 这是一千年来圣灵带领的工作。And this is the work of the、uh, of the Spirit through a thousand years. 在旧约时代的时候，那个时候这一部分的信息是还是隐藏的。In the time of the Old Testament, this was um this was somewhat hidden. 到了新约时代的时候，圣灵就把这些真理慢慢慢慢的来阐释，更清楚的让世人明白。And in New Testament, the, the the Holy Spirit expands on this even more. 好，我们再来看神要如何来做呢 ？And so, what、uh, what did God do to to make this come true? 我们刚刚看了，在旧约的时代的作者就是大卫，他没有办法回答这个问题的。And we know that、uh, David could not answer the questions that he posed in his psalm. 他他只知道神给人一个很大的应许，就是要让他能够管理。这样子荣耀的地位。That he knew that you know God gave him this authority over many things, though he was very small. 但那那基本上那是一个感叹。But it was still you know it was still mostly just kind of vague, and he he was he was looking at it in in, in amazement. 因为在旧约大卫那个时代，这些耶稣基督还没出现，那个时候他不知道神到底要怎么做的。Because at the time Jesus was not yet born, and so he did not know. What he was waiting for. So, 到了希伯来书的时候，你看看到这一部分真理就被解开了。And so this, the so the book of Hebrews answers、uh, David's question. 这里新约在这里解开旧约里面的谜题。And it it it, un, it solves the riddle of the Old Testament. 哎，在第二章第九节，他说看到耶稣比天使小一点。Because we see、uh, in Hebrews chapter two verse nine. That we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels. 而且这里说到耶稣受死，然后就得着了荣耀的冠冕。That he crow is crowned with glory and honor because he suffered death. 他这样子受死受苦呢，是为了人的缘故。And the the reason he died is for the sake of men. 所以在新约作者这里面，就把旧约不知道的地方告诉我们。And so here. The New Testament answers the questions that were posed by the Old Testament. 这么微小、这么无用、软弱的人，怎么可能做这么荣耀的事呢 ？How could a man who is so weak and so insignificant ever hope to accomplish such glory? 原来是耶稣做了一些奇特的事情。Because it was Jesus who accomplished these things on our behalf. 耶稣是神本体的真相。Because Jesus is Himself God. He came to the earth and said, "I and the Father are one." Because when He came to the earth, He declared, "I and the Father are one." Although the Father sent the Son to the earth, but this is entirely His will. That though He was sent by the Father, He Himself was sent by the Son. Though He was sent by the Father, He Himself as the Son was completely willing to go. So here we see that the Creator of the heavens and the earth, He Himself became a human being. Himself became a human being. That the God who created all things Himself became one of His most insignificant creatures. He 必须要这样子做 And he had to do it. 因为人有罪 Because man was sinful. 如果人的罪不被神来赦免，人没有办法提升到那样子一个人荣耀的地位 Because if man's sin was not forgiven by God, then man man could never stand in a In the, that space of glory. So this one, the Creator, which is God's Son, came to the world to bear the sins of men. And so the Creator, the Son of God, came to the earth to bear the sins of men. In here, the New Testament says Jesus was a little lower than the angels. What do we feel? What was our our understanding? Our understanding is that Jesus was a little lower than the angels. What do we feel? What was our understanding? Our understanding is that Jesus was a little lower than the angels. What do we feel? What was our understanding? Our understanding is that Jesus was a little lower than the angels. What do we feel? What was our understanding? Because in the Old Testament, it was saying that man was a little lower than the angels. We feel what? How did that make us feel? 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 How did that But for Jesus to be a little lower than the angels, 天使是什么呀 ？What are angels? 天使也是受造物。They are created beings. 耶稣是神本身，造物主啊。But Jesus is God, the Creator. 但是耶稣为了人的缘故，他降到人的地位，居然能够降在天使的下面。That in order for God to save us, he 
he humbled himself to be a little lower than the angels. We saw the impossible happen. 如蚂蚁的人居然能够提升到那么高的荣耀的地位 That though we are as ants to God That we were raised up to such a position of honor 到底怎么可能这样做呢? And what made this possible? 当然要一个不可能的事情发生来成就一件原来也不可能的事情 That the impossible had to occur for this impossible thing to happen 那就是创造宇宙天地的主 他自己下来成就这件事情。That is the God, the God who created the universe. He himself came to accomplish this deed. 神如何在人身上成就荣耀呢? How does God accomplish His glory? 就是耶稣要替人受死受苦。That He would die, He would suffer and die on our behalf. 在罗马书跟 各林多前书里面都提到第一个亚当跟第二个亚当的概念 um, the, the book of Romans and the book of 1 Corinthians both introduce the idea of the first Adam and the last Adam 啊, 在罗马书里面就讲到说 从亚当到摩西的时候人就已经注定是在死亡的控制下面 Nevertheless, uh, uh, Romans chapter 5, 14 Nevertheless, death reigned from the time of Adam to the time of Moses 所以他在那里说亚当一个人罪过全人类都死亡了 that because of the fall of one man, all of humanity was condemned. 但是后面有一个转机, but later there was a turning point. 同样的, 也因为耶稣基督一个人在恩典中的赏赐呢, and so because for the many for if the many died by the trespass of one man, how much more did God's grace and the gift that came by the grace of the one man Jesus Christ overflow to the many who would accept him? So again, the first Corinthians chapter 15 speaks of the first Adam and the last Adam. The first Adam was created out of the dust by God. And the last Adam was incarnate, God Himself incarnate to accomplish what the first Adam failed to do. The first Adam lost the glory that God was had given him. Because he sinned and he he ran away from God. And he could he could not by his own merit return to his original place of glory. That uh, but God was going to do a special thing. That he that he him that God himself would come to the earth to take the form of a man and to pay the the price of sin on on man's behalf. That this second Adam, this last Adam was not a created being but the creator himself. And he is doing the work of reconciliation. And he is um, he is going to work to seize back the work that man, where man had failed. And Hebrews chapter two verse ten goes on to tell us. That God is not not just doing this. He's not only going to turn the earth over for man to rule. 他说万物都要伏在人的手下 That all things will submit under his authority 那这件事情必须要有一个起头 And this has to begin somewhere 就是那个第二个亚当 就是神的儿子 要亲自先来做成这件事情 That the, the, this is something that the last Adam The son of God himself comes to accomplish 当耶稣基督死在十字架上 复活升天的时候, 他就说, and so um, after his resurrection, Jesus declared, "All authority under heaven and on earth has been given to me." 啊, 因为耶稣基督所做的事情, 人靠着耶稣基督, and so because of what Jesus had accomplished, we can aspire to the same by relying on him. 在这里, 第二章第十节说, 基督是要领许多的儿子进荣耀里去, 
And so, you know, in bringing Jesus will be bringing many sons to glory. 他自己的成就，自己的荣耀，是要为了要使神的儿女也一样来分享他所得的荣耀。So he rose to glory so that the children of God can also ascend to glory along with him. 荣耀是出于神的，他必定要归回神那里去。Because glory emanates from God and it is to destined to return to Him. 因为荣神是荣耀的源头。Because God is the source of all glory. This is very clear when we look at creation. But in Psalm 19, verse 19, it says, "Our God is the Lord of the universe. Our 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 God is 满天的这个浩瀚的星空，但是他就感叹说：“这些神所造的万物，不计其数的万物，都已经在伏在神的荣耀下面。” And that all of creation is already submitted under the authority of God. 但是所造的万物里面，只有在最终的，他不荣耀神。But there is one creature who does not give glory to God. And that is sinful man. 就是在罗马书里面所提到的，人，他不感谢神，也不当作神来荣耀他。These men, for although they knew God, they neither glorified Him as God nor thank, gave thanks to Him. 在约翰福音第一章里面讲说，光照在黑暗里面，黑暗就不接受光。Or as、uh, John, the Gospel of John, chapter one puts it. The light showed into the darkness, but the darkness could not accept it. 就好像一个黑的屋子，灯一开的话，整个房间应该要亮起来的。Just as、uh, a a lamp turn is turned on in a darkened room, the entire house, that entire room, should be filled with light. 当你灯打开的时候，都亮了，只有一个地方不亮，会不会觉得很奇怪 ？But if you turn some a light on and there's still one corner that's in darkness, wouldn't you feel it be odd? 你假假设你有一个手电筒。Uh, if you had a flashlight, then you you 到一个黑的屋子里面去 And you shone it into a dark room. 你把手电筒一打开，照那个墙壁 You turn the light, you turn the flashlight on, and pointed it to the wall. 你应该看到整个墙壁就亮起来嘛 You should see the whole wall light up, right? 但是你如果这样一照，结果发现墙壁都是亮的，有一块地方是黑的 That you pointed it to the wall, and there's still one spot that's dark. 啊，那个墙壁没有动的，但是它那块就是不反光 There's no holes in the wall, and yet that one part of the wall will not reflect the light. 有没有这种事情呢 ？Have you ever met that? Have you ever read into that? 那恐怖电影里面有啊。In a horror movie, maybe. 这叫做什么呢 ？What's that? What? 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 So what? What? What kind of a? What does that translate to? 这叫亏缺。That is the falling short of glory. 神的荣耀已经在他所创造的宇宙万物里面得到了回归。The gods. Glory has been reflected by His entire creation. 神所造的宇宙万物全部都会反映神的荣耀。Everything God created is a reflection of His glory. 只有一个地方是黑的。But there's one dark part. 神的神的荣耀在他身上没有反应，没有感觉。There's no there's no reaction whatsoever. 罗马书里面说，这叫做犯罪亏缺了神的荣耀。As Romans tells us, all have fallen. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. 神所创造的万物里面，原来只有人是最应该反映神的荣耀的。Of all of God's creation, man should have been first in reflecting His glory. 因为人受造的时候有神荣耀的形象做基准的。Because we were created in the glorious image of God. 结果这个原来有神形象的人，反而是最不能够反映神荣耀的人。And yet this image of God is. Now, the least able to reflect God's glory. This is because of our sin. Because of our sin. This is called sin. So that is the falling short of glory. God will not allow this situation to go on forever. So God will not allow this situation to go on forever. So God will not allow this situation to go on forever. So God will not allow this situation to go on forever. So God will not allow this situation to go on forever. So God will not allow this situation to go on forever. So God will not allow this situation to go on forever. So God will not allow this situation to go on forever. So God will not allow this situation to go on forever. So God will not allow this situation to go on forever. So God will not allow this situation to go on forever. So God will not allow this situation to go on forever. So God will not allow this situation to go on forever. So God will not allow this situation to go on forever. And he will choose the the children that he beloves. 在他的时间里面，让他的儿女苏醒。And call his children back to him. 当人一被呼喊苏醒的时候，他就可以恢复神荣耀的形象。And when this person is called, they will be reawakened, and they to to the the place that God had originally designed for them. 他会像其他所造的万物一样，来反映神的荣耀。That he will be able to reflect once again reflect God's glory as he was designed. He won't be like in the end, 
神的荣耀照到他身上，他没反应的。That he will no longer be in his sin where he has no reaction to God's glory. 荣耀归于神是必然的。And for for it is in his uh the glory must return to God. 神可以得回他的荣耀，经过基督，也可以不经过基督。And God can take back His glory through Christ or by His own hand. 神如果因为基督得回荣耀，是神原来的心意。It was God's will for Him to have that glory through His Son. 他这里讲说，神在凡事上因耶稣基督得荣耀，荣耀全能都是他的。It for Uh, First Peter tells us that on all things, in all things,、uh, God will be glorified through His Son, because this glory was originally belonged to Him. 而在罗马书里面讲到说，我们是神的儿女，我们因为基督得荣耀，所以我们也分享他所得的荣耀。And and Romans tells us, as children of God, we will also receive that glory. 这是这是神得回他自己的荣耀，透过基督的一个结果。And so this is the glory that that we receive through Jesus. We alone cannot seize back our own God's glory. But through the death of Jesus Christ, we can receive that glory. But through the death of Jesus on the cross, we can return to that glory. This is how God works by the power of the Holy Spirit. This is how God works by the power of the Holy Spirit. This is how God works by the power of the Holy Spirit. This is how God works by the power of the Holy Spirit. This is how God works by the power of the Holy Spirit. This is how God works by the power of the Holy Spirit. This is how God works by the power of the Holy Spirit. This is how God works by the power of the Holy Spirit. This is how God works by the power of the Holy Spirit. This is how God works by the power of the Holy Jesus Himself will come. Also, will God Himself will also、uh, can also take back His own glory. 就像在出埃及记里一样。As in Exodus, 法老王。Uh, the Pharaoh. 神给他很多很多次的机会，但是他不听。God gave him many many chances to repent, but he would not listen. 所以神说好，那我就直接从他身上得荣耀。Then I will receive. One way or another, I will get my glory. 结果当埃及的追兵到了红海的时候，就全部被红海所吞灭。And so the all of of Egypt's might perished in the in the Red Sea. 所以在这里得荣耀，神就直接得荣耀。And so God Himself was glorified. 在这种情况下的人是必定要被毁灭。And in this circumstance, man will is doomed to destruction. 当我们今天看了这一段诗篇以后、uh, ，as we read these verses， 我们觉得我们应该真的要在神面前来明白神给我们的顾念。We are to understand how God considers us。神竟然要顾念我们这么微小的人。God， for God to be willing to take to consider us though we are so insignificant。在神所造的万物里面，我们真是太太微小，但是神仍然爱我们。And compared to the rest of creation， we are。Truly, very, very small, and yet God is willing to love us. 神如何来做呢 ？What? How did God do it? 他为了使我们这样卑微的人能够提升到那样荣耀的地位，耶稣基督以神的地位，他必须要暂时放弃来到我们当中，以至于能够把我们带回神的荣耀里。That God Himself, Christ Jesus, had to had to temporarily put aside His glory and sink to our level in order to bring us back to Him. 在彼得前书五章七节说，要我们将一切的忧虑卸给神，因为他顾念我们。First Peter tells us we are to give all our worries to God, for He takes care of us. 明白神的顾念是多重要啊 ！How important is it to understand God's care? 你如果不相信神，不明白神的顾念的话，这个浩瀚的宇宙对你来讲就是一个很无情的机器。Because if you don't understand God's If you don't believe in God, if you don't believe that God cares for you, that this universe is,、um, it, it has, it is a cold and empty place. 那是一个那么浩瀚的宇宙，你是这么微小，但是这浩瀚的宇宙，你一点办法，他不了解你，他也不爱你。And this, in this huge, in, in this huge universe, you have no place in this universe because it doesn't care for you. It doesn't consider you at all. 你能做什么呢？ And what can you do? You, you, 事实上你不能做任何事情。There's nothing you could ever do to change the destiny of the universe. 你没有任何的盼望的。You have no hope. 你无语对苍天。You have nothing to say. 你在任何困难的时候，人为什么会走上绝境？就是因为这样。Why does man fall into despair because of this reason? 你有看到神所创造的宇宙万物，你没有反应，你认为那是一个一个原来就在那里没有办法。
对话的一个东西的话，你的人生的结局就必定是如此。If you look at the universe as something that's always been there and it it has no response and there's no way you can interact with it, then that's then your life will is doomed to death to despair. 但是对我们信主的人是何等的不同啊 ！But how different is it for those of us who believe? 神已经自己来到我们当中，告诉我们 that God Himself came and spoke to us. 你们看到的宇宙星辰不是一个无情的机器。That this universe is not a cold and empty place. 而是一个充满了爱的神，他所亲手所创造的。But it is, it is the creation, the handiwork of a of a God who loves you. 所以我们可以把我们的忧虑交给神。So we can get, turn our worries over to Him. 神讲的这句话，事实上是很明白的。That God is very clear in His words. 他说，因为他顾念我们，我们不要忧虑。For he cares for us, so we do not need to worry. 意思就是说，人呐、啊，人呐、啊，你何必一个人活得这么辛苦呢 ？And so he's he's rebuking us, saying, "Man, why are you working? Why are you working so hard for nothing?" 当然，你如果不相信神的话，你就走这条路吧。But if you don't believe in God, well, then I guess you just keep on going the way you're headed. 你就你就注定一辈子就靠自己，因为你不相信这世界上有任何其他东西可以帮助你，可以爱你。If you don't believe in God, if you don't believe that there's anything other, in, anything in this world that could love you and help you other than yourself, then I guess you carry on. But God tells us, "Wise people, we should turn back." But those of us, He calls us to turn back, to be wise. Don't let the world and the things that you can see around you turn you back. Don't let the world and the things that you can see around you turn you back. Don't let the world and the things that you can see around you turn you back. Don't let the world and the things that you can see around you turn you back. Don't let the world and the things that you can see around you turn you back. Don't let the world and the things that you can see around you turn you back. Don't let the world and the things that you can see around you turn you back. Don't let the world and the things that you can see around you turn you back. 这是原来神爱的计划。Because that was God's plan for us. 我们一同祷告。Let us pray. 天天父，我们赞美你。Heavenly Father, we praise you. 主愿这一段经文给我们心中有一个极大的冲击。That may these words be a hammer to our hearts. 让我们知道我们是何等的微小，但是你是如何的爱我们。To let us, let us realize how small and insignificant and we are, and yet you still love us. 你让我们知道我们在无助的时候，我们应该如何做。You tell us what we are to do when we feel the most helpless. 因为我们要相信你是爱我们的神。You you call us to believe that you are a God who loves us. 你已经用行动来证明你爱我们。For you have already demonstrated your love. 你是宇宙创造的主，但是你愿意道成肉身，成为我们这样的形象来到我们当中。For though you were creator, you are also willing to humble yourself and to to dwell among us. 你还愿意为我们所犯的罪来付上代价。And you were willing to pay the ultimate price for our sins. 为我们受苦，甚至死在十字架上。To suffer and die on the cross on our behalf. 主啊，我们求你真是感动我们的心。Lord, we ask that you be with your children and inspire us. 我们当中如果还有没有信你的，求你真是帮助我们。If there are those among us who do not yet believe, please help us. 我们在神的面前问说，我的心为什么这么冰凉呢 ？And have Give us the courage to ask yourself why our hearts are so cold in the face of God. 求主你自己来抚摸我们每一个孤单的心灵。And Lord, we ask you to touch, touch our lonely us in our loneliest places. 让我们这微小的人能够暂时苏醒，看见浩瀚的星空，原来是你的杰作啊。That we can look up at the skies, the great starry host, and realize that those are your handiwork. 让我们知道你真爱我们。That that they are, and that let us truly know that you love us. Let us re respond to your glory. 这样祷告，奉主耶稣基督的名。We pray in Jesus' name.